Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the ultimate low cost wicking hydroponic system. It is super simple to put together. It's easy to make. The materials are almost nothing in cost and you can make it in a variety of ways through a variety of materials and it works every time. It's a great seed starter. Also, it gets your plants off to a head start. You can start them in the winter time, set this on a windowsill and it'll work perfectly. Let's head into the greenhouse and I'll show you how to put this together in a matter of minutes. Hey guys, today I'm talking about a wicking system that is practically free, and it is free if you have the, some of the materials already. This system is made from things that most people throw in the trash, and so it's so easy to put together. Kids love it. Adults can use it as a seed starter, so it's not only a children's project, it can be a serious gardener's project as well. I'm going to show you exactly how to put it together. It's so easy that anybody can do it. And like I said, it's nearly free. So this outer shell is going to protect your water from algae growth, from the water getting overheated. Of course, you don't want it sitting in full sun, so you're going to maybe want it to start it on a windowsill or somewhere in the garden that doesn't get all day full sunlight, but it's super easy to put together. You just keep that on there. You don't have to use this aluminum wrap. This is actually made for hot water heaters and as an insulation device, but you can also use aluminum foil. That will work just as well. But this is a super simple thing to put together, less than 10 minutes, and it works perfectly and will last for years. So the first step is going to be drilling into your cap with about a quarter inch drill bit. And you want to make sure the hole you're drilling is going to be big enough for your wicking material now you can use lots of different things you could use a paper towel which is not going to last as long you could use a piece of cotton cloth that you cut into a strip what i'm using is actually nylon rope and i just like that because it holds together together better and it's going to last a lot longer so i like using a nylon rope because i can put it in here and i can tie a knot in it and it prevents it from slipping into the water so we're going to i'm going to demonstrate that really quick i'm going to pull it through our cap now we want to kind of guesstimate as to how far up we can go. I'm going to tie the knot. And as you can see, as we pull it all the way down, it will not fall back into our liquid, our water, and that will wick right up into our soil media, which is actually vermiculite. It's not soil, it is vermiculite. And so we're going to put that together real quick. I've got one already cut. I cut the top off. I always recommend cutting the top just big enough where you can set your plant in there. You don't want it to be half, maybe the top third of your bottle. And let's see. Sorry, that's making a lot of noise, I'm sure. Okay, so you can see that it sits on the bottom. We may actually be able to take a little bit off, but it's okay if, it, if it's a little bit bent there on the bottom because it's just going to continually wick back up. And you can also, to prevent it slipping, your top portion slipping in, any further down than it needs to be, you can put some tape to the inside and to the outside, and that way it will not go any further, and it will just act as a little bit of a safety mechanism to prevent you from losing your top into the soil, into the your top into the water. So that kind of keeps it more stable. We're going to add our vermiculite next and put our plant in last. All right, so we're going to add our vermiculite to our bottle. And even if our cap sits a little bit below the water, that's fine. It will just still have a little bit of extra water. It's really a tight fit where the rope fits into the cap. So even if it's sitting down into the water, it'll still have a wicking action pulling it up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add our aquarium gravel to the top of our vermiculite. And that acts as kind of as, as a soil moisture retentive agent. And it will stop the soil from drying out. And it's just a quick and easy thing you can do. You can buy the aquarium gravel at any type of aquarium store, the big box store, Walmart. But what I wanted to show you here is a lineup of different types of containers. Now this was a gallon water jug. You can see I've taped the side of it because some, some tops want to tend to slip down into the water. So you'll just add a little bit of tape. You'll tape your top part and your bottom part to prevent any slippage there. This is just a one liter soda bottle. This right here is probably the most interesting one to me, which it is a used Starbucks cup. You can see this is the 
lid that would come on it, some type of frappuccino or other drink. This is the bottom portion. You use some tape to prevent your soil, your vermiculite, but your soil media from falling into the Starbucks cup. You bring out your wicking item there, whether it's rope or cotton or whichever. And so that way it sits out in the water. You fill it up with water, put it on a windowsill, put your seeds in it, and your soil media will retain a little bit of moisture, just enough to get those seeds started. And of course, you're going to pull back the gravel when you put the seeds in and just leave that gravel pulled back to allow the seeds to start coming up because it may be a little bit harder with this, the uh, gravel sitting on top of the soil. So you leave, leave a quarter of an inch if, you, if you're starting from seed now. But you can see that this idea applies to so many different types of containers. If it's going to go out into the outdoors where sunlight might hit the bottle or even on a windowsill, that can be true too because it can grow algae in the water. So just remember, if you want to use aluminum foil around your container, that will prevent algae growth in the water. So guys, I really appreciate you watching today. This is kind of a short video for me, but it's just something that I came across a long time ago. And I think that anybody can do this. It is super simple. Kids love it. Adults can use it as a seed starter. It's for the beginner gardener or the advanced gardener. It's so easy to put together, less than 10 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. If you have anything you want to add to it, anything I left out, please leave a comment down below. So have a great day, guys. Thank you.